Heroes exist everywhere, in every neighborhood. They're ordinary people with an extraordinary love for their gente. And it's that love that gives them the strength to lift up an entire community. My name is Amir Leon, and this is for the love of the neighborhood. Today, we're off to Huntington Park to speak with Juan San Juan III. Hello, Juan. Can you introduce yourself? Hola. Welcome to Gloria's, first of all. We're sitting here in our patio. And I am bringing out a parrillada. That is our signature dish at Gloria's, a parrillada. I am a restaurateur chef, and I've been doing it for 39 years now. So can you take me back where it all began? I had just turned 10 years old, and we went to go eat at a fast food restaurant. Me and my little sister, we immediately grabbed for our burgers, and we're fighting for the fries to see who gets the most fries. And my dad flips on us. And he says, En esta familia, no se pelea por la comida. We don't fight for food in this family. Let that be the last time that I see you guys fight for food. He got the fries, he threw them in the tray. You share. Basically, that's Gloria's. You just come together, you eat, you share, and listen to mariachi. This is our community. 39 years later, we're there because our community is with us. How has the pandemic affected your business? During the first week of the pandemic, my parents closed down Gloria's restaurant, but it's the family business. It felt bad to have my parents shut down, so what I decided to do was, I had my, my little business in Los Angeles. I had a restaurant, closed down my restaurant. I moved all my operation over to, to Gloria's, my cooks and everybody, and we said, we're not gonna let all this food go to waste. Let's just give away food. We kind of figured we were going to give about 500 meals away that day, so we prepared food for about 500. We have about 20 volunteers. I have media there. I have my parents are there. Um, we started putting on social media. Please come to Gloria's and come and pick up some food. And the day the event comes, well, 9, 9.15, 9.30, there's no cars. What the heck? So I'm in the office, and I had uh, my hands over my, my eyes. Como voy a poner? Like, how am I going to face these people and tell them that there's nobody here? I'm kind of like freaking out at this point. And uh, my manager comes up and knocks on the window. She goes, come here, come here. They're here. And I turn around, I look down the street, and for like a mile, there's cars lined up to get fed. Couldn't believe it. We just start making burritos and we, we run out of food. So now another friend, he goes, let me call my restaurant, see what I have. My other chef friend, she's like, let me bring food. We made burritos out of anything we had. We would just wanted to feed and we just started seeing a need. Another friend of mine said, hey bro, our campesinos, our farm workers, they need help. So we decided to just go to the farms and give food. So we're out in the field and it's a beautiful open field. We have this caravan of like 10 cars. We set up everything and the mariachi starts playing. Dun, 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 dun. And our campesinos look up and they just see us and they have a face of happiness and joy. There was this one gentleman. I saw him in the distance, but he was by himself. He wasn't coming to the food. And so I started walking to him. But the closer I got, the older he looked. I come closer and it's like, bro, he's in his 40s. He's in his 50s. He's in his 60s. When I got there, I saw him. And when he reached out to grab the, the bag of food, I saw his hands. And uh, those are the hands that feed us. I have bad knees from just working in the kitchen. This man has to have bad back, bad feet, bad everything. And he's still out there doing it. If somebody like that can go to work every day to feed me, the least I can do is help feed others. That image will be in my mind forever. <laughs> The story about my dad when we were fighting for the fries, that moment is where I learned that there's more of a significance to food than just eating. So to be on, on the fields, to be helping, feeding, and listening to mariachi, that was the perfect day. On behalf of State Farm and Me Too, thank you so much for today, Juan. Muchísimas gracias. <laughs>